is going to kick off for the Monarchs. Toe meets leather, and we are underway. Mike Hollins lets it bounce into the end zone. Touchback. Cavaliers will get it. They're 25. Keep your eye on number 99 in the slot towards the bottom of your screen. That's Keaton Thompson. Instead, they'll run the football to try and pick it up on oh, the ground. And Hollins it. is close, and he'll make it. That's Wicks. Single coverage with the whole field. And Thompson in motion. Armstrong looking that way. The two receivers uh, run into each other. He's got to make it on his own, which he can do, and he does. No one covering Wicks, but you got to get the ball there. You got to run the right play. Another first down as Hollins moves the pile. Third down and ten. Wahoos three for three on third down in this drive. Monarchs bring a little bit of pressure, but it's picked up. The Wicks drops it. Wow. Safeties of getting the ball to his wide receivers. Now a little sweep to the tight end. You got to look for number 80, top of the field in the slot. Wolf to throw, pressure up the middle, gets it off to his tight end. There you made the call, Mark. And Koontz makes the catch and they'll move the chains. The rear ends of the offensive tackles. Oh, there he goes back across again. And a lot of room to run. First down and a lot more into Virginia territory. Watson pushes the pile down to the 31. Watch the tight end. Comes across the ball, and it's just it's run fits. You know, that's where you have to have good communication between linebackers and safeties. Third and six. Give the Sims. Wow. Close to the first down. I think he's going to be a little shy. Yeah. yeah completely. Little... Two yards shy. They're going high snap. Wolf brings it down. Depends on the Stopped mark. Him. He's not going to get it. Stopped him. Wow. Tariq Sims was dropped short by about a full yard. Yeah, and Jonas Skinner. Jonas Skinner, excuse me. Good defense at the end by UBA. Second opportunity for Virginia. On the toss sweep. Woo. Tough yards by Xavier Brown. He's still going. Into Monarch territory before finally being pushed out of bounds at about the 40. Ah, well, welcome to collegiate football. 185 pound true freshman. Little wrinkle in this offense. The quick pitch. Out of the shotgun. Man, he's running good. Good job breaking those tackles and moving downfield. And yeah, to be the starter, got hurt in the spring. Good job by 20. Thompson, that's a pass. Inside the 25, stays in bounds. Dropped at the 20, 19 yards. And those are their first two. Those are their only two Power 5 wins to this point. Look at Paris with a lot of room. Inside the 5, dropped at the 3. Nice. Give to Hollins. They might have stopped him. Big push at the end. Does Big he get in? Big push. Yeah, that second effort got him across that line. Yes. Head linesman nearest to us with the signal. Touchdown. That initial stop right there, but the push continued. C65. Jonathan Leach. And he dropped down to that knee right there, but then gets in behind and just pushes. And Brennan Armstrong. Through the upright, seven plays, 77 yards, two minutes and 29 seconds off the clock. Finished off by that young man right there, Mike Collins. This time they'll use Page. Wow. Good speed. Page gets leveled on the sideline. Nick Jackson brings him down. Same play we've seen. Good adjustment defensively by Virginia. Second down and 11. Wolf to throw underneath. That's his receiver, Jennings. And look what Jennings can do after the catch. The leading receiver in the country. Cavaliers showing pressure. And they bring five. They bring somebody back out, though, to try and cover for that tight end. Pass is complete, but it's going to be shy by about a yard. It'll bring a four down and a yard. Ethan Davies back to return this punt from Ethan Dwayne. Dwayne puts a toe into it. High kick. Davies looking to make the fair catch. Let's it bounce, and it takes a beautiful Monarch bounce. Rolls all the way inside the five. They'll down it at about the four. So let's let's get this done. We'll need to do this right now and get it done at third and seven. Inside the ten. High snap. Armstrong comes down with it, but he's under a lot of pressure inside the five. Great ability to run. Nice tackle, too. But a nice tackle to bring him down. R.T. Johnson.
Isaiah Page looking to return this kick. He'll let it bounce. Near a play. It touched him. It touched him. And it did touch number 17 for ODU. And it'll be Virginia ball. Big mistake on special teams for the Monarchs. Wow. Peter, 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 whatever it is, you got to tell your guys to get away from the football. Wow. Big swing in Virginia's direction in terms of momentum. Good hustle play, getting down the field to recover the football. Wow. Third down and six on this play with Hollins in the backfield. He'll stay in the block. Armstrong gets hit as he throws, and a flag comes down in the backfield. Several of them. Armstrong. Looking to the end zone. Underneath to Wicks, makes that catch inside the five, dropped at the four. It'll be first and goal, Virginia. That right there is a confident throw by number five and sneaking it right in. Just, I mean, this is inches right from the defender's hands. Pressure coming. They'll get to Armstrong, drop him for a 10 yard loss. Denzel Lowry finally got to him, Mark, but they brought almost the house. Yeah, you see, there's you five guys, six guys up with their hand in the dirt. Pressure up the middle, can't get it to Hollins. <sighs> and he hits it. Moves the running back and they find the right window to run it in. Once again, knocked off his feet. They come with four. So Wolf has time, unloads deep, trying to get it to Coons, trying to highball it, and he almost came down with it. Once again, Ethan Davies back to return this Ethan Dwayne punt. And Dwayne uncorks one. Davies from the 16, that's where he'll be dropped immediately. Good special teams play by the Monarchs. And Virginia up 10, takes over there. 8.31 left to go in this first half. Now lining up in the slot on the right side, Virginia looking to go quickly. Paris. Good strong run. Gets the first down. Jason Henderson back in there. Had his shoulder looked at. Said, I'm fine. Tape it up. Let me in. Armstrong going deep to Wicks. Now he makes the catch. That might be another confidence builder for those two. By Brendan Armstrong getting it out to his guy. Now Armstrong will roll. Hits Mish the tight end. Gets hit hard inside the 30. Hangs on. Close to another first down. Option. <laughs> Keeps it inside the 30, and he picks up the first down. Defensive staff for ODU, and they say, you know, look, he kind of reminds us like those you know, prototypical you know, Big 12-type quarterbacks, you know, Baker Mayfield, Johnny Manziel, where career for the former quarterback at Mississippi State. Hollins, the carry, first down. Loses the football, ball is on the carpet. Still loose. As all kinds of players jump in to try and retrieve it. Oh, this is where it gets crazy on the bottom of a pile. Now a Monarch player comes out of there with it, number 45. Well, and that's, he holds the ball up like, look, it's right here. Right. And, that, and that's who it gets. What are you guys looking at? I got the ball right here. Yeah. Midfield led to a touchdown by Virginia. And now Virginia looked like they were about to put it in. This was going to be first and goal. And the ball is on the carpet inside the five. Monarchs get one back. Yeah, they do. And man. Not a good start on the season for Tony Elliott's offense in terms of turnovers. Coming into this game, they lost five turnovers. Instead, Wolf will look to throw. Underneath, hits his receiver, powers forward for the first down. Does not look like Virginia is showing pressure. They're dropping back. They come with just four. Wolf steps up. Underneath, hits Page on the crossing pattern, but he's nowhere near getting that first down. Davies with the fair catch at the 34. He's looking that way. Goes to him. Nice catch. And a flag down at the end. Now they'll run it with a minute. Armstrong running it. Nice move. And a stiff arm. Inside the 45. Loses the football, though. Wow. 
Another battle for it on the bottom of the pile. And it's ODU ball. Blake Seiler talked about limiting the scramble. He said, don't let him scramble north and south. Good job of forcing him east and west. And I mean, you see just a, a really good hit by Robert Kennedy, a captain for this team. And the ball, that's out. And it's another fumble. No question. Trey Hawkins, the corner. Wolf will throw. Cavs bring just four, and there he is! Koontz inside Virginia territory, out of bounds at the 43. It's going to be a mismatch, pretty much anyone who's covering him, and especially when you get an inside linebacker. On second down and five. Again, Virginia brings just Got five. Him. Beautiful pass and catch again, Koontz. Yeah, anytime Josh Ahern, number 33, is going to be covering Koontz, that ball's got to go his way. Of number zero, Ollie Jennings. Third down. Going to the end zone, trying to get it to Jennings. Touchdown! It, <laughs> that's, that, that's it. Find where linebackers are covering receivers, put them in a bind. Scoring is at a premium here, so when you get the opportunity, you got to make the most of it. Boy, did the Monarchs ever do that. Just great concentration in there. You know, they overcame that unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense and their coordinator. Sanchez with the PAT. Really, you got to say, until that last drive, right before the turnover mark, when... Armstrong and Wicks kind of got going. The passing game was non-existent for Virginia. Here comes ODU on that opening kickoff. And good field position for Lamar and James out beyond the 25. Blake Watson in the backfield alongside Hayden Wolf to start this second half. Give to Watson. Still wow. on his feet. Gets a first down. They're, they're living and dying on every play. Watson. Did a nice job of being patient, but puts the ball on the ground. It looks like he was able to fall on it, on the ball. And good job getting to the edge. And you see right there, number 15 punched the ball out. Wow. See him standing near side. You can also see Koontz, the big tight end, line up as a receiver. Give us to the wow. tailback, and Watson has no shot at all. Cam Butler in on the tackle, and Bennett in the backfield. Yeah. Yeah, we talk about building off the momentum at the end of the first half. Yeah, I don't, I don't love this play call. Now, you know, you're third down, third down and six, handing the ball off to your running back. It's, you know, I don't know what you do here. <laughs> well, let's see if Odie Youth wants to bring a little pressure. They don't. They bring four. So Armstrong's going to have a lot of time, and he does. Now he's got Thompson deep down the left sideline at midfield and makes the catch. And, like, that's the guy, right? That's the guy who gets this team going, trying to get everybody going when things have gone bad. So get him the football, and they tried to go to Wicks. Wicks was double teamed. You see how long it takes Armstrong to get off Wicks. But, you know, you get a matchup, you throw it up to 99, and, you know, he just is so good at catching in traffic. Got an injured player for Old Dominion on the field. Terry Jones, the safety covering on the play, had to leave the game with an injury. So we'll keep an eye on that. Armstrong to throw. There's Wicks. Down to the 20. On the play. Good blitz pickup right up the middle. They let a defensive tackle free, but good job by the, the freshman of bumping the guy off. So Brennan Armstrong has enough time. And see, like, that's it, right? Armstrong has that. Get to the two receivers. Good job executing that play. Fake to Xavier Brown. Now he's got all time to throw. Looking underneath, can't find anybody open. Still can't find anybody open. Now he has Mish inside the five. Lavelle Davis, top of your screen, 6'7", wide receiver. Looking near side. Balls Armstrong out. gets sacked. Fumble on the play, picked up by Old Dominion. Sean Asbury ends up picking up the fumble, and again. I'm going to throw it up. Good job on the timing. The running back, again, mentioned he's a true freshman. A good blitz pickup before. Now, when you see that, you got to abandon the run play and go get the guy off the edge. But you know, Armstrong with that little pump fake, not doesn't have it. And again, you know, that that's a good hit, good tackle, and good recovery. You know, this Virginia defense, they're 
initially in the right gaps, but they're allowing running backs to get outside them on that second effort. Now Sims on the receiving end here. Swing pass, picks up the first down. Blake Watson in the backfield with Hayden Wolf. Give to Watson. Nowhere to go. He gets stopped for a loss. Mission motion to the top of the screen. Armstrong looking to throw quickly. That's Davis. Overshoots him. That's hard to do. It's Davis is 6-7, but that's what happened, and it's three and out for Virginia. Isaiah Page with his heels on his own 35. Pressure up the middle. Page will take it from the 40. Trying to get a block, and he gets one. Gets to the outside, and he'll get to midfield, and that's where ODU will start. There it is. Give to Watson. Tracked in the backfield and dropped for a loss. Aaron found Mui. And, you know, we, but if we see it up in the booth and we know what's happening, I mean, you got to know that Virginia's defensive line is knowing what's happening, so. Wolf with time. Incomplete. Tried to hit Jordan Bly. Jordan Bly wasn't going to go anywhere if he could. Here it is again. Jones. Now move the sticks. Four o'clock Eastern, weekdays. Jones. That's tough sledding right there. He didn't get it. It'll bring up fourth down. And <laughs> Tobias Harris back to receive this kick. Fair catch at his 12. And they do. It's what they've done pretty much all afternoon long. Wolf, the receiver out of the break, makes the catch. Was it enough? No, just oh, the spot was not enough for the first down. Conservative play calling, but they're still in the game. Down just three here, late in the going in the third. Now they'll throw. Wolf, pump fake, chased out of the pocket. He's going to be sacked. Cam Butler got to him. Nothing for you guys, is it? No, they'll just put that back in easy. But good job on the sack. He had a big sack last week. Another one, timely. And here comes that finger. Ooh, Yikes. baby. Oh. For 66 yards so far on the day, but it's third and 14 here. Flagged down behind the play as he failed to hit Javon Harvey. Realigned on the sideline. Yeah, exactly. Back in there, though. Wolf now to throw on first down. Has time and has a receiver. Caught. Wow. Wow. Let's see this look. Uh, you know, that coverage is fantastic, but that concentration give UVA hope. At, at worst, you put the ball away. Wolf might get a face mask here. No, doesn't. Looking for one, but won't get the flag. Instead, it's a sack by Faumui. End up in the face mask area. That's, hey, that's, that's wow. A, that's that is a face mask. tough to miss that call. I saw it from all the way up here. Extended the drive. Instead, it was a loud possession for ODU, and it ends up getting the ball back to Davies from his 32. Dances away from the first wave. Brought down at the 42. Get him in there if they want to stay in this game. Down three in the fourth. Armstrong to throw. Thompson. So great after the catch. Makes one defender miss and still on his feet. Gets an extra two or three yards. And now third and five. Thompson in motion. Sidearm throw. Gets it to Thompson. He's close to the first down. The extra effort made it gotten it for him. Some success running the ball on that last drive. He keeps it, and he'll pick up the first down and lower his shoulder and fall forward for a couple more. That's Brennan Armstrong right there in a nutshell. The ball in their quarterback's hands. Understanding, look, he's had fumble issues, obviously, in this game, but when it comes down to it, we want the ball in our best player's hand. And two sealing that block on the edge. First down for Virginia. Now they're going to go back to the run game and back to Brown. Xavier Brown. And when you have when you have a 6-7 wide receiver, you want to be able to throw it. There's not a lot of confidence in him today. Pressure up the middle, gets rid of it, and can't complete it. 
Farrell from 30 yards. And he nails it. Cavaliers bring just four. Now Wolf pressure gets to him. Chico Bennett. ODU went back to that same play, trying to get a matchup with Ali Jennings on a linebacker. They showed one thing, came back with a different zone coverage, forced Hayden Wolf to check the ball down and allowed enough time. Momentum was all on ODU's side, but because of Virginia's defense and their ability to create some sacks and force punts and three and outs, it really feels like the momentum's on Virginia's side now. Now they just need to put the ball in the end zone. And do I have room to scramble as a QB? Jones is in the backfield, high snap. All kinds of pressure coming, but it's picked up. Thompson makes the catch. And that's why you throw him the football. I mean, like, again, this is, it's good coverage. It, it's a poorly thrown football. It's too high. But Keaton Thompson will go up and make that catch. Chris Adams, we're seeing him card it off. There's it. See, now that's Lavelle. That's a good route, good throw. Lavelle Davis makes the catch, another first down. Give to him. Oh, look out. 35, 30, slides down to stay inbounds at the 23. Smart play. And he just bounces. Good job bouncing outside, and poor job by ODU maintaining leverage on the football. That's been, I mean, I can't tell you. Armstrong to throw. Looking for Davis. Makes the catch as he inbounds. No. He banged it through, earned a scholarship. Here he is for a 36-yarder to win it. Pushed it. Oh Pushed it wide right. Virginia got away with it. Tough pass and really no chance. I mean, Anthony Johnson with outstanding coverage on the outside. Kuntz makes the catch. It's, it's, he's very good. He is a very, thrown so well. Good job protection up front. And it's, it's a great, Great pass and catch. 22 yard live. Now Wolf to throw. Play action. Little pressure on the edge. Jennings. He makes the catch inside the 40. Uh, broke off the route right. Great job. And the ball's delivered right on time. And I mean, the, yeah. Wolf has time. Jennings. Curls it back inside to the 27. Now on the run. That's Watson. Wolf play action. Virginia brings Ooh. extra attention and that ball just. But, but no inside help. There's no one over the middle of the ball. Let's see if a linebacker pops out. Kuntz in motion. And we'll get a timeout. <laughs> Wolf. Kuntz, can he avoid the tackler? No, he cannot. That's Long again with a huge play. Lex Long has made the difference for this Virginia defense in the second half how big of a play this would be if Long doesn't make the tackle. I mean, look at him. He has to come all the way across the field. I mean, it, it's a good drop trying to run him through traffic. They know that he is man-to-man -man on Kuntz, but just a great job of coming downhill and making Long's in a position to chip here. They bring pressure. Wolf's got to get rid of it. He does. Oh, Receiver falls yeah. down. That's pass interference. And the flags come. He does, to the far side, to Page. Incomplete. Wolf to throw, has Watson in the flat. To Coons for the Got score! Him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him.
No, it's going to him. And, you know, just good. It's just a good, good route. Good break off. Okay, now. Good snap, good hold. Sanchez puts it through. With a minute and one second left to go, the Monarchs have taken the lead. Dominique Starling. Will he try to make something happen? He will, out of the end zone. 20, oh. 30. Great starting field position for Virginia. Armstrong to throw. Over the middle, has the ball wow. inside the 35 to the 32. Kennedy on the stop. Armstrong. Flushed out of the pocket. He can run, and he's going to pick up positive yardage. A lot of it inside the 25, close to the 20. <laughs> now what's the strategy? Inside of 25 seconds. Paris Jones is the tailback. Armstrong still throwing. Going to the end zone for Wicks. Flags all over the place. Pass on the field. Defense. Number 25. 15 yard penalty. You get a bootleg or something here again to try to get a scramble rollout. Instead, it's Armstrong putting the ball in the middle of the field for Farrell. Snap. Hold. Kick. Good. Cavaliers win it. How about that? No issues that time.